Hola! Welcome. If you have a midheaven in Cancer, this is your reading for what career should you pursue. Now, let me explain a few things about this reading so you understand how to use it. Um, I'm always going to have these in my playlist, so they're going to be there from now until the end of time. Because who knows, you might want to change your career at a later time and come back and kind of check it out, figure out what you're going to do. Um, I have a marketing and a business background, and I advise a lot of people in regards to career paths, business opportunities, and startups. I actually have three businesses of my own. Um, so I'm combining these with people's midheavens, or sometimes called MC, which actually drives your career goals. So if you don't know what your MC sign is, your midheaven sign, go to the link below. It'll take you to a calculator. Look up what your midheaven, or I think it's called MC, in, in that on that particular page, and then come back and check out your video. I'll go over the traits of what your midheaven is in Cancer, and then we will do a general spread telling you where you are now, what your career strategy should be, and how your goals will manifest themselves. Your career goals will manifest themselves. And then I'll be leaving, as I often do, with a video link below for what is your dream job. And in that reading, I will have three options for you to pursue. There'll be actual fields, actual careers, okay, for you to check out. So make sure you click on that. And of course, if this resonates, consider a personal career reading where I will incorporate your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising sign and give you a super duper awesome career spread okay so let's get to it thank you for listening to that holy spirit angels divine guys universe can you please provide your truth your wisdom your clarity and your insight for mid heaven cancers in regards to their career what career should they pursue what do you see what do mid heaven cancers need to know where are they at this time what should their career strategy be and how will their goals manifest themselves for Cancer Midheavens. And then let me just tell you the traits because I forgot to do that. Um, so if you have a Midheaven in Cancer, you're able to see situations and people on a deeper level. You're a nurturer. You're sensitive to other thoughts and feelings. But you also can differentiate, differentiate between those who really need help and those who claim to need help. Although change rocks the boat, your career path may change quite a bit or experience high, highs and lows due to your insecurities. Your changeable nature can reverse into an ambitious and driven nature once you find passion, which may, may not be in the field that involves a high pay rate. You have a creative edge in whatever field you end up in. You can find yourself in a career that allows you to utilize your intuition about people combined with your creativity. So can you please show us where Cancer Midheavens are now? Where are they now? We have the Ten of Wands and the Upright. Can you please show us what their business strategy, what should their business strategy be, or their career strategy, sorry, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and how will their goals manifest themselves for Midheaven Cancers? And we have the Page of Wands in the Upright. So what I'm kind of seeing with the Ten of Wands is that your your present situation right now is that you're burdened okay um it, it, everyone comes to you with their problems and what's going on um with them they're kind of drawn to you like a moth is to a flame because you're so good at kind of listening to people's problems and you're very sympathetic and what have you so i feel like with the ten of the wands it's just you're taking on too much it's you're taking on everyone else's problems and pain and complaints and it's stressing you out it's exhausting you and you just kind of feel overwhelmed as a result of it um in the position of what your strategy should be don't do anything for right now the wheel of fortune is about not taking a gamble it's about playing it safe so if you're kind of feeling like you should kind of do something now kind of isn't the time for it for your career strategy and we'll be pulling clarifiers on these so we'll get a little more in depth now, as we move on to how your goals will manifest themselves, and I think this is after you kind of wait it out for a period of time, something is going to come to you. You are going to get news about something. Um, the Page of Wands is usually news that brings big change, inspires you to do things differently, um, positive news, creative news. It's usually news about a new project or a new career or new investment of some sort. So from what I'm seeing, they're saying just kind of hold off for right now kind of stay where you are. You don't want to take a gamble. You don't want to take any risks and wait for this news to come in that um, it is coming along, it seems like. Alrighty. 
Why is the Ten of Wands here in the upright for Cancer Midheavens? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Cancer Midheavens? Yeah, everyone comes to you with everything. Um, because you're very good at listening to everybody's um, things they have going on and mediating. You're very empathetic. You're very sympathetic. But there's just too many of them. The Eight of Wands, they're just coming to you with all their complaints and talking and talking and talking. And it can be really overwhelming and trying at times. Um, sometimes you wonder, why is this your role? You know, because it gets to be too much. Okay, four of wands in the upright, and you do it because you want to keep the, the environment of the office or the company or whatever, you want it to be a harmonious environment. So you kind of take it upon yourself to negotiate through people's emotions and what they're going through so that everything can kind of like be happy around the office or people can get along with each other. And like I said, it's a happy, it's an enjoyable, and it's a harmonious environment. And that is what your end goal is. So that's why you take on all that weight. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here reversed for Midheaven Cancers? Who is this person with this energy? Additional messages for the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Midheaven Cancers for career strategy, the Moon card. Yeah, they're saying to stay put because there's stuff that you don't know about. There's stuff that's hidden, um, hidden to you. And, and that could be anything. So, I mean, there, you can, uh, Sorry, the moon card is actually the card of Pisces. So you can actually use your intuition to kind of navigate you through that. But, you know, until you're 100% sure and you can see it in the light of day, don't kind of have any action or don't follow through on any kind of path. Because um, there, there's things going on that you don't see. Um, and, and if you were to take a chance or a gamble, if those things would end up impacting you. Whatever they are, I don't know what they are. They're saying kind of play it safe with the Knight of Pentacles. Um... Slow and steady wins the race with the Knight of Pentacles. He usually comes up with some kind of strategy or plan uh, that's very low risk, that isn't a gamble. So just sit tight for where you are. And if you do that, um, something will manifest for you. And it will be this Page of Wands. And you'll feel very powerful. But the Magician is also kind of, um, you know, while you're in this planning and planning and strategy period, it's really kind of like looking into resources and using tools that you have available to you and, you know, sharpening your skills so that you can be more employable, um, things like that while you're not doing anything and playing it safe. Why is this Page of Wands here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages for the Page of Wands in the upright for Cancer Mid Heavens. Who is this person? What is this energy? Why is the Page of Wands here? Justice card in the upright. You may end up getting news and it might be some sort of job um, in a legal department having to do with law in some way, politics in some way. Okay, and I feel like what this is going to be is that it is going to be something new that's going to be offered to you. And um, the the premise of this whatever that's being offered to you is doing the right thing so you are being an advocate for other people you are people you are being um people's voices who can't speak and, and it kind of makes sense because over here is where you're kind of taking on everyone's emotions and absorbing everything and helping to kind of figure it out so somebody's going to notice that someone's going to come in with news and they're going to make you an offer to put those abilities to good use and justice card is the card of Libra if that resonates um, and it really is about going back and helping people with their issues so kind of resolving things that they have um, unresolved issues baggage any problems that they have things like that you're going to be helping them to kind of work that out um, so I don't know and, and it, like I said it could be legal law um, human services even or something like that i feel like that's what the position's going to entail um we have the hangman here in reverse so um this is kind of like in regards to these people you're trying to get them to i'm trying to think of how to put this um not continue to do what they're doing and not get any results. So whoever these people are that you're helping, they put a lot into a cause and then they don't get anything. It could be in terms of, um, you know, monetary compensation. It could be in terms of being elevated within their company. Um, whatever it is, they're like downtrodden. They don't, they don't get what's coming to them. They, they're waiting around 
for things to happen they've waited for a long time and things don't kind of end up happening so that's why i feel like maybe the legal angle comes in because this is something where legally you can push something through and get what is owed to people because of the hard work that they've done so that's what i'm kind of feeling with that um so if this resonates and you would like a personal career reading just send me an email otherwise click on the link below for what is your dream job we'll go over three options based on your cancer midheaven to see fields that would be you would be predispositioned to go into um and other than that i'll see you over in vimeo adios from veronica garnett bye